What's, What's up, up explorers? explorers? Welcome back to our channel. We're the Choose here from Choose to Explore, where we teach you guys how to see the world and save a dollar. So we're leaving the beautiful Ocho Rios in Montego Bay. Right here, we did so much. We went to the world famous Duns River Falls and climbed that up. Then we also went rafting down the Martha Bray River. We went and saw so many beautiful beaches and there's still so much that you guys can do here. But now we're headed to St. Elizabeth. So we're gonna have a more local vibe and more unique experiences going on here. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned and let's get on. <laughs> And it's very good for senior citizens too. So come along, man. Yeah, man. So one thing that I really do recommend is when you see them, Devon House is local Jamaican-made ice cream. So every time I see it, I go and I support because Jamaicans, you know, big up to them. hours we pulled up to my mommy's house in St. Elizabeth and you see this Christmas holiday decorations <laughs> we're super excited to finally get here after a long drive and to check out St. Elizabeth so it's a lot of family time right yes really cool lots of greenery lots of nature I'm loving it already So for Christmas Day, we really just stayed by and just hung out with family. We have a ton of family here, some that I remember, some that I don't. So we got to see all of them. We got to see the banana trees, the coconut trees. We got to learn about the land, learn about stories about our family. And it was an amazing day. Um, we ate a lot of really good food. We had curry goat, manishwata, oxtail, chicken. It was a great day for family, lip side of the family, to try a lot of these local foods and really experience some Jamaican country culture. Good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day here in St. Elizabeth. The funny thing about St. Elizabeth is actually in the morning, it's covered in fog. So if you guys could see, well, you can't really see much because it's just fog and it's also cold in the morning. So we saw a beautiful sunrise. We were woken up by the chickens. Uh, we're gonna eat some breakfast and then we're gonna head out on our first adventure day in St. Elizabeth. So stay tuned guys. Welcome, welcome. We are here in Akampang. This was a little bit of a crazy drive up here in the mountains. Really narrow roads in the mountains. It should be less than a single person lane, but it is actually a two car lane. So when you're going up there, the roads are definitely a little bumpy, more than a little bumpy, pothole after pothole. Um, and there are a lot of people who have to pull to the side. So if it's two people on oncoming traffic, make sure you use that horn to make sure that you're known and when you're coming over these curves. And definitely drive slow. That's the key. <laughs> but you, you take note, drive slow. Okay. Um, so we made it up top here. We're going to learn all about the people of Ankampang, the Maroons in Maroon Town, and learn about our history and our culture here. So let's go. All right, so in order to enter this tour, it was 35 USD per person for the foreigner price. And as a local, it's 3,000 Jamaican dollars. Finally got to use that. Um, and right up behind us, we see the homage is the monument of Kujo, uh, who was the, one of the captains of the Maroons. And you see right here, it's just a beautiful area. It's a monument. You see the different spiritual seal grounds right behind it was a Mayo religion which they get which they brought over from West Africa and they practiced it here so this seal ground that's right behind me is where they were able to practice their religion
So next up, we just walked a little bit and we made it to the Akampang Cemetery. And if you guys look at the heads, where the way that they're facing, it's actually facing to the west. And the reason why they're facing the west is because their bodies have died, but they have not made it back home to Africa. And Africa is towards the west. So all of the headstones, tombstones, and tombs all face the west. Right behind us is the oldest building in Ankampang. It's over 400 years old and it used to be a place for shopping, but it was turned into a church in the 1960s. And actually it's a Presbyterian church and it is actually where a lot of the African names of the Maroons got converted into the English names. So change the names. So we walked a little bit further and we made it to the kinder tree, which is actually where Kojo had his office. So the Maroons were made of different tribes of people from Africa, um, but the kinder tree was here where they put their differences aside to come together as in one family. So a kinder tree symbolizes them coming together to defeat the British army. So here's where the war plans were, where they defeated and gained their independence. So we just finished the Akampang tour, learned so much about the history of the people. And please, if you guys come, talk to Cher. Okay. And she'll take care of you, right? Right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>
and that's about 35 US dollars per person in order to do it and there's five total lines we yes. didn't have the time to do it this time but maybe the next time we're here yeah next but, time's it right over the falls so cool but this is an amazing spot that I highly recommend right here in St. Elizabeth and also if you don't want to climb any falls there is a pool as soon as you kind of enter that kids can stay grandparents can stay you can just sit and just get your feet a little wet so definitely a family friendly event if you do or do not want to get in the waterfalls So we had an amazing celebration of the life of my great-grandmother, Admira Green, who was a community member of the church and really helped out a lot of people in the community. And my mother decided to start a scholarship fund to help people in need here in the country. And this is gonna continue. And I'm gonna take a more active role into making sure that what I wanna do gets done. I want you to continue this when I'm no longer here. Just as I am doing because Mama is no longer here, I want you guys to pick up that mantle and that you are willing to make sure that people who are less fortunate have the opportunities that you have had to improve themselves. So we had a memorial service for her. We had a nice party in a remembrance to commemorate her. And we are gonna keep her name alive through the scholarship fund. So if you are looking to help and to donate as well, any money goes a far way, whether it's $5, $10, $100, it was greatly appreciated. And you can do that through the donation link right here in the description. But we're gonna head out and call it a night tonight. Good morning, good morning. I'm out here in the country, we in St. Elizabeth. I'm over here trying to get the barber to come give me a quick edge up and a line, but it's a little trouble. This is his shop right here. Humble beginnings over here. So let's try to see if I can get that done. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're here um, in St. Elizabeth. We're about to get some cane. I told my uncle I needed some sugar cane, so right here. Gangster, real gangster. He's gonna grab some cane for me. Yeah, that's good. And we just had an amazing time here in St. Elizabeth. You see mommy has the dry coconut. And we are heading out of St. Elizabeth and heading to the grill. We had an amazing time. How did you feel about it? Thank you, Darren. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it, all right. Let's head out. We got some more things to do in St. Elizabeth now. No, it's a must. We're here in Jamaica. We went all the way over here to Black River to get some juicy beef patties. We've been too long without patties. We got two beef paws. We've got uh, shrimp and two veggies. So let's enjoy these before we head out. All right, and we just left juicy beef and we made it. Juicy patties. We just left Juicy Beef, and no, now Juicy no, Patties. Juicy patties. <laughs> I say what I want to say, and now we're here, um, about to get on a boat ride to head to Floyd's Pelican Bar, which is a super cool and unique um, bar in the middle of the ocean. Floating bar, so let's check it out. Let's go.
just took a nice, quick little, maybe five minute boat ride here. Less than five minutes. Yeah, less than five maybe minutes. Maybe like three minutes. It was super quick. We came here with Captain Adrian and he got us here right away to Floyd's Pelican Bar in the middle of the ocean at the sand bar. Sand bank? Sand, I guess it's a sand bank. You know what I'm talking about. So it's a floating bar, literally on a sand bank. And it's beautiful here. You have so many different shades of blue. And the way that you really tell the depth of the ocean is based on the colors of the blue. So right by the sand bank is like a nice clearish uh, blue, but outside it gets a little bit darker, which lets you know that either it's there's deeper. some coral or it's deeper. So we just got here and it's so beautiful. People come here and they carve their names down <laughs> into the wood. Um, and it's all over, they have flags from all over the world and it's just amazing. They have a restaurant here, they have a bar here, but this is the perfect place to come snorkel and just to relax and chill out, especially when it's such a beautiful day. We haven't been blessed with too many beautiful days here in sunny. Jamaica. Sunny, it's super sunny. Exactly, so let's go and enjoy. I don't know why they have these life jackets on. Oh, oh yeah, she has two of them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So what she have a life jacket for, Liv? I don't. Now I'm just stuck with it. Oh, okay. Okay. Sun just said we just drove from Floyd's Pelican Bar to Hanover right here and we picked this place because it's right in between Montego Bay and Negril. So there you guys have it. You got to see me and my family in St. Elizabeth and you got to see so many different things to do and see here and we truly appreciate it guys. You could be anywhere in the world but you're here rocking with us and we truly appreciate that. So thank you guys. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned because next week we're heading to Negril and Montego Bay. So stay tuned for that.